This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. This is Naveen here, and uh, we will continue our typo series with this video. So today I'm going to cover what are the different browser actions APIs are available in uh, in Tyco. So there are different uh, browser actions APIs. So if you see that uh, if you go to Tyco, okay, just go to the Tyco terminal and let's see what are the different APIs are available for browser action. So these are the different browser actions methods and APIs are available. Uh, most of them we will look into it that okay how can you use all these things and what are the different extra features Tyco provides for browsers so let's look into it so we are already in Tyco terminal so you already aware about that if you really want to exit from the Tyco terminal you simply write dot exit dot exit you are back to your terminal and if you really want to let me clear the screen if you really want to get back to into Tyco so simple write Tyco and press enter like that so my first browser, I mean, how to open the browser, as I already told you, simple open the browser, that's it. And you will see that browser is getting opened. Browser is getting opened over here, right? So like this also, you can use it. Now let's see how to close the browser. So simple, right, close browser. Browser got closed, simple. Now I want to open a browser with headless mode. So simple right uh, open the browser and you just need to pass one option attribute like this okay in curly braces you simple write headless colon true and then you run it you will see the browser it's saying browser open but it's not opening any browser and then you can write your script with like this also right now what i'll do i simple write open the browser you make it false by default, it is always false, but if you specifically pass headless is false, now the browser is getting open. Right, guys? Now the browser is getting open. If you want, if you want to open a browser with a specific uh, window size, that also you can do it. Let's see, same thing. Uh, I'll say that open a browser with ARGS, the argument colon, some array argument that you have to pass. In single quote hyphen hyphen uh, window hyphen size is equal to let's see one four four zero comma nine hundred right comma nine hundred so let's see open a new browser with this so see it's opening a browser with a specific size whatever the window size that you have given like this right so like this you can do it so let me close the browser once again close the browser that browser got closed and okay because that browser is closed so i'll do one thing let me do a dot exit okay and uh, go to typo once again and then we will open the browser like this so browser got opened once again simple right now <clears throat> close the browser we have already seen that now there's one more command that just like switch to command we have switch to command in selenium switch to method driver dot switch to same thing you can do if you write simple like this uh, switch capital d o switch to where switch to a specific application url so let's see i want to open http colon www dot facebook dot com it means like this so what exactly it will do switch to dot com if there is a it's saying there are there is no url or title found because there is no as such application is available where switch to application is there not like that right so now let's see i'll do one thing i simply write i open manually i'll open a new tab and i then i write facebook okay dot com right and then let's see you run this particular command once again switch to facebook.com now it is switching to facebook.com did you see that like that now on this particular page i'll write google.com okay so on this particular tab i'll write google.com i want to switch back to google.com so what i'll do i simply write back to google.com so now the control is available over here if you really want to switch to switch, uh, Facebook, 
run this particular command once again, switch to Facebook. Now you see the browser switching to Facebook. And again, I'll write switch to Google, back to Google like this. So switching easily, you can do that. In fact, let's see, I'll switch back to uh, Facebook once again. And if I want to switch back to Google, so what will you do? You simple, either you pass the URL or you simple pass the title of the page also. So the title of the Google page is Google I'll pass and then you run it. So with title and with a string URL, these two parameters you can pass with switch to method. Okay, simple like that. So same thing, if you really want to close the tab, I want to close the, the Facebook tab. So what exactly it will do? You simply write close to method and you just need to pass the title of the title of the Facebook or you can pass simple Facebook URL also. So let's see, I'll just copy this entire URL and uh, you simple, okay, not like that. And double quote, close to facebook.com. And then, okay, just a minute, close to is not defined. Ah, sorry, it's not close to, it's uh, one second. Close tab. Now you see the Facebook got closed, right? Now I want to close this google.com also. So you just need to pass close tab and you just pass the title also you can pass. So same here. I'm passing let's see. Google browser got closed. Right? Like this also you can do it. Now I'll open the browser once again. Open the browser. Browser got open. And uh, what I'll do, I want to close the current tab. So where exactly the focus is available, you simply write close tab. It's gone once again, right? So like this also you can do it, okay? So either you can pass the URL, you can pass the title. And if you don't pass anything, whatever the current tab is available, the where exactly the focus is available, that particular tab will be closed over there right so this is the thing close to and switch to also we have seen that okay open the browser switch to and simple close tab okay then if you see there are some other uh, methods also available if you really this is a very simple method generally we don't we will not be using it but there is a method that you can simple emulate so let's see i'll open a browser uh, just a second, open a browser and I want to emulate my network. I want to set some network. So there is a method simple by emulate a network, something like this. I want to, let's see, good 2G network, something like this. So the network emulation is set to good 2G. If you want to set up in offline mode, you can write in offline also like this. So now it's set to offline. So whatever the network emulation you want to provide that you can simple pass the strings, uh, emulate network with offline 4G, regular 4G, DSL, uh, Wi-Fi mode also you guys can do it. So but it's a very simple basic method guys. You can simple, if you really want to ignore, you can ignore it, it's not that important, right? Now let's see what I'll do that I'll open my, uh, I go to, go to method is there to launch the URL. Let's see, I'll say HTTP equal www.google.com. Okay, so okay. there is no internet because we have set up to offline. So what I'll do, I'll uh, close the browser once again. You're getting a point because emulate network is offline. So we have made it to offline. So that's why it's saying no network over here. If you set up to a 2G or good 3G, then in that case, you will be getting 2G or 3G network. So this is such a, it's a nice feature to have it. So let's see, close the browser, the browser is closed. 
I'll open the browser once again. Uh, open the browser. Fine, the browser got open. And uh, I'll just move it over here. And then I'll say that <clears throat> launch google.com. Fine, google.com got launched. I want to emulate a device that in, let's say in iPhone 6 or iPhone 7, how exactly this uh, google.com on a particular browser will be visible. So you can simply write emulate device. Method is there. Emulate the device and which device you want. So device wise I want, let's see iPhone uh, 7, something like this, iPhone 7. So the moment you open it, you will see over here, it's showing like iPhone 7 over here. This is the iPhone 7 screen like this. You can emulate to iPhone 6, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, any Samsung, Android devices, iPad also you can do it. Now see, this is iPhone 6 device actually. So in iPhone 6, it is actually emulating like iPhone 6 or 7, whatever the uh, device that you are passing it. So I'll show you that particular on their Git repository. You just need to go to Google. Let me go to Google and simple pass this particular URL. This you just go to their GitHub URL. These are the different devices. Information is available for Tyco. They say that okay, uh, it's supported with the uh, BlackBerry devices and the new Galaxy also. See Galaxy Note 3, Galaxy Note 11, <clears throat> Note 2 landscaping, and uh, iPad Pro, iPad Pro landscaping, iPhone 4, iPhone 4. Uh, all the iPads, all the iPhone devices, everything is available. See iPhone 6. You can see that iPhone 6 is also available like that. So there are different, uh, see if you really want to pass iPhone X. So let's see, emulate iPhone X like this. So in iPhone X, it will be visible like this. So you can emulate any kind of device, Kindle, Nexus, see Nexus 10 also, Nexus 4, Nexus 5, Nexus 6, all the devices you can. So this is the entire list is available. I'll share this list device. Okay, this uh, URL in the description of the video, you can check it over there. Or you can directly go to GitHub of uh, Tyco and then uh, you can simply go to lib data, device.js file is available. Right? Okay. Now, um, if you really want to uh, set up a screen dimension, okay, for your devices, so what do you need to do? <clears throat> Let's see, I'll remember, right? One method is there, set viewport. Set viewport and uh, here you just need to pass. What kind of width you want? So width, let's see I'm passing 600 comma. And what is the height you want? So height I'm passing 800 and uh, this. Now you see it automatically, height and width got adjusted over here accordingly. So set viewport also you guys can. Uh, do it easily on on your browser like that right so this is the set uh, viewport option is available right is open tab i have already told you how to open a tab close tab i have already told you how to close a tab then uh, one more thing is there that uh, uh, cookies okay you can set up the cookies also over here, just like we have in Selenium, right? Delete all the cookies, clear all the cookies, set cookies. So how to set up a cookie? So for set up a cookie, you simply use a simple method. Let's see, I'm simple, right? Set cookie. And uh, you just need to pass, let's see, I want to pass some token. So whatever the cookie token is there, your uh, CSRF token or your session ID token or any uh, language token you want to pass, so let's see, I'm simple passing CSRF uh, token, right? What will be the token value? So first you have to write that uh, uh, cookie name and the cookie value. So let's see the value I'm simply writing randomly CSRF token, right? Like this. So this will be the cookie that will be uh, set up over here like this. Okay, yeah. one more parameter we have to pass on which URL, for which URL you are going to pass the cookie. So you have to tell that, okay, the URL will be like this, colon, HTTP, colon, www.google.com, like that. So you can see that the cookie has been set over here. So this is how we can set the cookie. And if you really want to clear all the cookies, just like in Selenium, we have delete all the cookies. So how will you delete the cookies? 
and uh, you can clear the cookies and you can delete the cookies but before that i'll tell you how will you get a cookie so simple right get a cookie and uh, get cookies it means whatever the cookies are available we just give it to me so it says that okay with google.com all these are the cookies are available and uh, yeah all these things are available over here like that okay and whatever the cookie that we have set up see name csr of token and this is the thing and this is the domain that we have set so right through set cookie method we have set up this particular cookie so that's why it is showing over here as well so you can set the cookie at the runtime and then you can get it if you really want to get a specific cookie that also i think uh, or sorry specific cookies for the specific url that also you can get it something like this uh, get cookies and for which url for uh, you simple right yeah this is the way we have to pass urls uh, bracket and whatever the url is this for which domain so you have to pass the domain http colon www.google.com right and uh, in single quote or double quote okay bracket closing the bracket and like this now you can see okay get cookies only for this particular google.com so you are getting it like this so this is how get the cookies if you really want to delete the cookies there are two methods actually one is clear a browser cookies i will tell you the method name is simple right clear browser cookies it means it will clear all the browser cookies but this saying that with clear browser cookies is deprecated better to use delete cookies okay <clears throat> instead of clear browser cookies so this method better to use delete cookies now you say browser cookies are deleted successfully and now you try to get the cookie the array is blank because we have deleted all the cookies from here so like that you guys can easily do it right so other than that i think uh, yeah these are the different guys browser apis or browser methods are available you can easily do that and uh, so what exactly i'm planning that if you see once again simple right dot apl sorry so browser actions i have already covered uh, delete cookies get cook, uh, cookies set cookie okay closing the tab and all those things i have already covered <clears throat> some methods are not important like override permission set location these things are not important okay intercept i'll tell you later how to intercept uh, uh, intercept method you can use for mocking the services you can intercept and you whenever you hit the url you will always get your uh, dummy response to intercept so that i'll tell you later so in the next video i prepare what are the different page actions a very special video we will create on selectors also because selectors are most important things over here so these two things will work together then i'll prepare one video on uh, proximity selectors also just like uh, in selenium 4 uh, relative selectors are available so it's already there above below near to right of to left of and then different uh, events and helpers api we will be looking into it but that's all for today browser actions browser actions that we have already covered please practice it's very simple very straightforward or you can generate the code also whatever the code that we have generated simple write dot code so you will see that all the codes got generated copy paste this particular code in your uh, you know in your uh, visual studio and then simple you can run it with gauge so that thing we will do it later when we design the framework when we design some basic scripts but for practice point of view initially please you can practice over here in the terminal and open the browser and check what is happening on the browser by hitting all these commands over here in typo terminal okay so i hope you guys are liking this particular tool and please start if you are watching this particular video and if you haven't watched previous three videos guys please watch those videos first and then it's very simple very straightforward and uh, this is actually making some noise in the market okay so thanks for watching this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video guys thanks bye bye